Hey, many fish. It's the 9th of October, 2018. And there has been a amazing little uh, message here revealed to us. Uh, pretty amazing. I just, I just got to show it to you. Okay. I'm looking at this Michael. Well, actually, it really, it started with last night I saw this, that Tropical Storm Michael was upgraded to a hurricane and that Florida had declared an emergency in 26 counties. Now, 26 is a very important number, but it's also 13 plus 13, okay? The article was updated at 313 last night, and that's when everything just started this morning when I came out and I'm looking around, okay? It turns out that this is the 13th named storm of this season, okay? I saw an article where, right here, it was moving east at 13 miles per hour, all right? So, do you see where I'm going with this? There's a little bit of a pattern here. 13, 13, 13, okay? Now, it goes even deeper than that because I also know that the draconid meteor showers are going on, right? And some people have looked at it that as the devil, okay, Satan, the war in heaven and all those things. Revelation 12, right? And his tail drew a third part of the stars from heaven and cast them to the earth, right? Two verses later, there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, okay? Michael. This is just the way I see it, you guys. So, I'm, I'm just thinking about this stuff. It's like, this, this is a little more than, than, you know, I'm used to this early in the morning. You know what I mean? And for those who don't know, I mean, the number 13, biblically, symbolically, is the number of rebellion and lawlessness, okay? And don't forget, too, there are a lot of other things attached to this. Uh, the dragon, a symbol for Satan, is found 13 times in Revelation. Satan is behind all rebellion against God. And what do we see in this world today? <laughs> Right? So, Satan, and his, or dra Michael and his angels, fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought in his angels. Okay? So, the first time we see Michael is in Numbers 13, 13 in the Bible. I think we can, we can uh, confidently establish we, we have a pattern here. Alright? Uh, and, and we could really go on. Uh, Michael... M, M for Michael. Uh, M is the 13th letter in our alphabet, right? Which consists of 26 letters, okay? So it's in the middle. Michael is in the midst of the alphabet, if you understand my meaning. The, the name Michael itself we see here in Numbers 13, 13. If we look at the, the, the actual Strong's 43, 17, we see that it's mentioned 13 times in the Bible. I'm telling you, you guys, this is not a joke. Okay, and as we look at this storm, right, it's moving up into the states, into the 13 colonies. And we can get into that whole ordeal again. The 13 stars in the shape of the Star of David, which is not what that is. The 19 clouds of glory, the 13 stripes, the 13 olive branches, the 13 arrows. Do you understand? I mean, we could go on and on and on. The United States is the, the base of this rebellion that we're seeing manifest into the natural world. This is the spiritual war coming to the natural world. That's the best way I know how to explain it. And all of this stuff that I'm seeing here is just completely insane. I mean, you even have the Pope, right? He's, he's calling for the resurgence of the prayer to St. Michael, which in and of itself is, it's insane, you guys. It just is. They're praying to the angel Michael as, as same thing that when they pray to the Virgin. This is wrong, wrong, wrong. You pray to the Father, our Father in heaven. 
You understand? In Jesus' name, because all things have been put under him. This is what the Catholic Church does. They have people mumbling over beads, praying to virgins and to princes of the heavenly host. Wrong, wrong, wrong. No wonder the Pope wants to change the Lord's Prayer. This is all just, this is seriously going on. And I don't know if I made this clear, but 13, biblically, is the number of rebellion and lawlessness. So, I mean, we can go on, believe it or not. This, this actually goes on. It's insane. I've never seen a pattern shown to us this powerfully. Seriously, I never have. And it, it goes into the phoenix too, because this bird right here is the same exact thing as this bird right here. That's what they are. They're, they're two peas in a pod. That is that. You understand? And he's got the 10, 10, 2018 with the phi symbol. And I, and for a moment this morning, I saw this as 10, 10, which you don't use the zeros in their little, you know, clever little communications they use in numerology and whatnot, which is all evil. It's all just a, a complete and utter uh, distortion of God's perfection, is God's perfect numbers, 2018. So what I see is a 1, 1, an 11, and an 11, okay? Now this, this moves forward in time into November, but, you know, for right now, I'm sticking right here, and I'm saying that this is illustrating the natural beginning, and I mean the coming into the natural world, so in your face that there will be no more denying this rebellion is coming, okay? I'm just saying, this is what I see, okay? I mean, we can go into so much, you guys, so much. It's unbelievable. It truly is, even down to the generations. The 13th from Abraham, Jesse, okay, the root of Jesse. This this is really, really, really tweaking my spirit. I'm just telling you, this, this particular one here is something to be watched. Watch, 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 watch. That's all I can tell you. And this thing's supposed to make landfall uh, tomorrow uh, on, the, on the 10th, right? I mean, even Michael itself in the Jewish. I mean, I already showed you that Michael 40, 43, 17 appears 13 times and it appears for the first time in Numbers 13, 13, right? But even Michael, the name in the Jewish Gematria is 76, which is a 13 and reminds us of 1776. With the 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, rebellion, rebellion, rebellion. Okay? It's coming. I'm just telling you. This is what I see. I don't know when. I don't know how. But it's coming. I mean, in this, where does Revelation 12 lead us? The Revelation 13. The mark of the beast. Which is what this will usher in. I'm just saying. This is what I see, it's what I understand, and it's what I share, because if I don't, I'll go completely berserk, nutty, and insane, because this is it's what I have to do. And I really would love to dig into this stuff with you guys, but I gotta go. I mean, if we go back to the Phoenician alphabet, where it all comes from, including our alphabet, the 13th letter, the Mem, represents water, okay? Hurricane Michael. I mean, seriously. So, I'm just saying that this is something to really watch. That's all I'm saying. It truly is. It, it's just spattered everywhere. It can't, it can't be denied. And, and I want to just, you know, go through all the connections to this succinctly so that you can just wrap your mind around how almost impossible this is to happen. Okay? At that time, Daniel 12... Michael shall stand up, the great prince that standeth for the children of the people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. 
meaning now, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. So be sure that you are written in the book. The only way to get written in the book is to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ and accept him as your savior. You're written in the book. But you need to want it. You need to be sincere. I mean, it's not just a willy-nilly, oh, I'm saved. No, no. When that spirit enters you, you know it. You know you're saved. You know you're sealed. And until that happens, you better keep asking and better keep looking. You know, that's what you need to do. I'm just telling you because these things are coming. There's just no way around it, guys. They're coming. And Michael and his angels fought. And the devil and his angels fought. Right? I mean, come on. There was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought in his angels. The draconoid meteor showers are a very good illustration of that very scene. Okay? I know a lot of things still have to happen, but this is nuts. Moving at 13 miles an hour. The Pope calling for the prayer of Saint Michael with the beads, which we could get into that. I mean, it's, it's nuts, you guys. It's nuts. But I have to share this stuff. You know I do. And uh, so there you go. Be watching, folks. Doesn't mean that this particular hurricane is going to cause all kinds of havoc. It is just a sign. It is just a message saying that this is coming. This rebellion is about to bust out. And you better be ready. And the only way to be truly ready is in Christ Jesus. So seek him first, foremost, and always. Singing psalms in your heart. Because it's coming. It's here. I hope you're ready. I pray that you are ready and that you know Jesus. So, I had to share this with you. You all have a great day, okay? Peace and grace to you. Keep looking up. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 